Now, Gauteng Education MEC Matume Chilwani Rath is visiting a school in Protea Glen where a parent was shot dead. The man reportedly tried to stop a hijacking yesterday outside the Faranani Primary School. Senior reporter Avi Wimdila is there for us to give us the very latest. Avi, we're good to have you back. What do you have for us in this hour? Morning to Melo. It's still quite somber here at the Chililos um, after, of course, losing their 34-year-old Eugene Chililo as, she, as he went to pick up um, his child at the Farani Primary School. It's literally about 200 meters away from where we are. Family is still distraught this very moment. In fact, um, just to get a better understanding of how the family is doing, I am joined now by the family spokesperson who is also the cousin of Eugene Chililo, um, and that is Felicia Gaisa. Thank you for joining us at ENCA, and condolences to the family. I understand you just don't want to be shown on camera, but I know this is a difficult time for the family. Yes, it is. It is very a devastating, devastating time for the family. It's, it's tough on us because we never expected such thing to happen. I'm sorry, Mr. Swam. Um, maybe tell us about Eugene Chililo, the type of person he was. My cousin was a very quiet person, shy person. He's not a kind of a person who would always cause fight out there. I'm so shocked to hear what happens to him. But honestly, honestly, I never expected this. He's a very kind person. How do you this shouldn't be happening to him. Not at all. Has it been explained, maybe by the police or the school, exactly what happened? The person who explained to us is his son, because the whole incident happened while his son was watching. The son said, apparently there were four guys who were hijacking a, second, a certain lady and then they pulled the son out, out of the car. And he was with other kids. They pulled him out of the car, and they tried to pull Eugene out of the car. They said he should get out, and he couldn't. He didn't want to get out of the car. So they ended up shooting him. So they suggested that the idea behind it's like, probably Eugene knows, knows those guys. So they were scared that Eugene is going to be a witness. So that is why they decided to kill him. Mm. How's the son doing now? He's so traumatized. You can imagine a seven-year-old son. Mm. He's so traumatized. Mm. He's so shattered, he's so broken, he's, he's a mess. Has the family received any, maybe counseling or the son, any talking to? Not yet. We haven't received anything yet. I'm so deeply sorry for your loss, this one. Very tragic incidents death of a 34-year-old as he went to fetch his seven-year-old son um, at Faranani uh, Primary School. In fact, earlier on, the MEC of Education was at the school. And let's just take a listen to what he had to say around this tragic ordeal. We will be speaking with community safety. We are going to request that our schools need to be guided by police. Uh, and if there's no police station in sight, those mobile police stations, they need to be closer by, to the school, at least at a minimum radius of a kilometer away, if, it's, if there's no uh, other, uh, other, poli uh, other uh, 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 avenues. So that's what we're going to be requesting, so that our schools need to be protected properly by authorized. And also we do have uh, patrols, but however, those patrols are not enough. Clearly we need more. Indeed, tragic uh, to hear Felicia Kaisi speaking uh, of how distraught the seven-year-old son is, is, is at this point, understandably, Avi. I mean, this story shattering the community, the family, the school, children. Uh, we'll be sure to catch up with you again, a colleague, as soon as there are other developments. Senior reporter, that's Avi Wemdila, for us out in the family of Eugene Shiriro, 34-year-old father who was shot while fetching his son from school.